So this is part two of getting my first PCP rifle and it's definitely been an experience. There's a lot to learn. I like to think that I know a lot about guns and I know very little um, about PCP air guns. I've learned a lot. I've watched a lot of videos and now everything that I've learned through YouTube is starting to play its course with the experiences I'm now having. So it's been really cool. Like I am absolutely obsessed i'm scared that i'm gonna get way too far into it but i'm really enjoying my jts aracuda standard and i see like most of the videos on youtube are of the jts aracuda max like i said in the first video i absolutely hate how the stock looks so the looks of a gun are a big deal to me and Having the thumb hole stock with the foreend being way thicker, don't like how it's cut, all that stuff. I would rather have the gun that I like the way it looks and sacrifice having it regulated. Remember, this is my first PCP, so I don't really care that it's regulated. So I specifically got this gun to 25 caliber. I'm hoping to do some coyote hunting with it. Um, I know it's kind of... You know, I could use a lot of rifles that I have, but I just, every time I go hunting, I think it'd be cool to try a different rifle. And so now that I have this air rifle, I think it'd be really cool to use it. And I've seen a video before with the guy take one with the 25. So, you know, I'm hoping maybe 50 yards, maybe closer headshot. I think it'll do well with the slug. So today's video is about my first experience taking the gun out and actually running a, through, a few mags through it. And when I went to fill it, I was having issues. And this didn't happen at home when I filled it up for the first time, but for about an hour, I spent trying to figure out what the issue was. And I realized it's not the gun. It is has everything to do with the Orc Air hand pump and if you guys watch air shootist he did a really good review of it comparing it to some high-end uh, pumps i believe one was like an, a 400 dollar fx pump hand pumps and <laughs> my cat's laying on the rifle right now i thought it was a great review i'm like i'm gonna buy that because i'm not gonna invest in a compressor just yet and the pump is great i think like when it works it works amazing the problem is where the quick, I guess you'd call it like the quick fill adapter or whatever, when it clips on to the actual fill port of the rifle, that space right there is having a leak. Now, if it's lined up perfectly, which may happen because I was able to fill it to 3000, but when I was at the range, I spent about an hour trying to get it to fill. And every time it gets to 2000 PSI, it leaks from that fill port. So let me show you guys what's happening. So let's see if we can recreate the problem. So everything is attached. And I'm gonna put the microphone right there so you guys can hear it. And right as it gets to 2000 PSI, the gun is filled, so I think within a couple of pumps we're going to hear it leaking. So here we go. Now, of course, for this video, it's not doing it, which I'm kind of happy about, but... <sighs> That's the annoying part, it's not consistent. So let's depressurize the line, see if we could do it. So I don't know if it's because the gun is filled or not, but move it around a little bit, try it again. All right, here we go for attempt number two. And we 
would you look at that? It's not leaking. So, who knows? But, I did find a fix for this. So let me depressurize it. I'm just gonna be doing this from now on because I don't like the inconsistency. So the Orc Air, there it goes, pump came with a rebuild kit and this O-ring is in there. I'm not exactly sure what it's for, but it is for one of those parts. So what I did to figure out how to get this to stop leaking, I just set it right here. And it does take a little bit more pressure to get it to go on. And if you see here, you can see that o-ring right there and it gives it a nice seal so if you guys are using the orc air and you're having issues try doing that grab that o-ring out of the rebuild kit throw it on there and the cool thing is if this is a reoccurring issue you could just leave that o-ring right there throw your cap on and you're good to go so in conclusion I absolutely love this rifle. I love the way it looks. Just everything about it. As a beginner, it has the uh, power adjustment right there. I threw a Monstrum 3 to 18 scope on there and it's got really great features. For the price, it is a first focal plane, which I do like. I prefer that over a second focal plane. It's got parallax adjustment. The reticle is illuminated. And it is a usable illuminated reticle. Like at nighttime, on the first setting, it looks perfect. At, in the daytime, on the high setting, it looks great. So I really like this setup so far, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. I highly recommend.